I want to know what colour Jill dyes her hair. Like, because in Risk 5 she's a blonde. So I want to know whether she's a natural blonde or a brunette. There's no reason why, just... Oh, please tell me I have the emblem. I have the emblem. Fuck, fuck. Get that, get that. Mm -hmm. I did not get this far when I did the playthrough, obviously, because I died and it's too tasty. Moonlight Sonata, and this is what I'm going to talk about. If there was the last ever copy of Moonlight Sonata during the zombie apocalypse, right, it was in a room infested, and I'm going to take examples from this game, from zombies, tyrants, neptunes, hunters, whatever, I would dive into that room and get Moonlight Sonata, just so I could take it back and learn it, just to go back to that room and play it in front of all those bastardized infected T-virus douchebags. I'm trying to think of a to formulate a good sentence to insult them, but I'm, I'm drawing a blank, people. Give me some suggestions on how to insult zombies. Play the piano. Yeah, she, she's got the piano, she's into music and that, and Chris is into fine art. Oh, so I was saying at the start, um, I hate Chris, I fucking love that tune. Uh, I hate Chris in this because he's just, he's got no, uh, oh, so I'm just flashed up there. He's got no inventory and, uh, you know, he sucks. But in Res 5 he's awesome, and in uh, Code Veronica, he's, he's pretty awesome. I'm saying Code Veronica, but I've got to prefer Code Veronica X because you get to fight Wesker at the end of it and has like extra footage and stuff. It's good. But I hate, I hate the guy in it. I, I can't remember his name, it's Steve or something. I'm probably wrong there. But it's so, I hate him so much. The most annoying character ever. He's like 16 and he's trying to bang Jill. Granted, I'm 16. And I'd bang Jill if she was real. That's right. I'm gonna go cry now. Wait, is that a window beside her? Why can't you just shoot the window and escape from there? I mean, you've got a fucking bazooka. It might be bulletproof glass, but it's not grenade proof or whatever. That's a nice door. Damn it. I think I've actually been over that side and I just haven't unlocked it yet. Not sure. Oh, Baddy's gone, is he? Oh, almost forgot about that. I'll put this in one minute. I've, I haven't even used that key once yet. The fuck's going on? Is that the blue gem? It might be. Or was the blue gem on this statue? It is. That could be a mansion key over there. Or is that an emblem? Oh, no. Or is that a crest? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Could be a crest though. I will take that, Joel. So yeah, um, as I said earlier, uh, playing 1, 2 and 3, uh, Metal Gear Solid, and if people want me to play Metal Gear Solid 2, Oh, it is a magic key. People want me to play Metal Gear Solid 2, I might play it. Because I do like best, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Obviously, like the first Metal Gear Solid. Well, it's not the first Metal Gear, but it's the first Metal Gear Solid. There was a bunch of Metal Gear games before uh, Snake was in them. Wait, I think Snake was always in them, but it wasn't always called Metal Gear Solid. Discard that key, come on. Oh, it's not discard. I thought that was the, that brown key was the one you only use in like one door. I've still got this equipped. Why are there no zombies? There's one. Lockpick! I think this is shotgun shells. Yes! Fucking called it. I have no inventory space. Because I've I've actually watched like every one of OTG's playthroughs about three times. Like the Resident Evil one, uh, well Resident Evil 4 anyway, like eight times. Because Resident Evil 4 is fucking awesome. Oh, that was a waste. And uh, because he says, because he's from Yorkshire and he says inventory, uh, or inventory actually, I'm just, I'm so tempted to say uh, inventory. Which just doesn't sound right for me. Invent, Ray. Guys, I, I'm just, I'm rambling on about nothing. 
if you ever see me in the streets, slap me. I'll post a picture of myself, and then just just look for my face. I actually get the feeling that when Jake re uh, when Jake watches us, he's going to slap me quite hard. I'm just going to go around the circle here so I can get back to where I was. Uh, yes, this room is a uh, is in Code Veronica because like this mansion was based on the mansion that you're in in Code Veronica. Um, oh fuck! 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 Zigzag! Zigzag! Uh, but that room is useless in Code Veronica. You get that statue and like a silver tube thing in it that's like it looks like the map. But it does nothing. And I got confused at that for a while. You look quite Asian there, Jill. I keep... Oh, they are shoulder pads. Why are you wearing shoulder pads? It's like shoulder armour. It's fucking body armour. Run, run. Oh, God. I'm, I mean, I'm not looking forward to the hunters, considering they will end up one-shotting me every time. Hmm. Where am I? I don't know where I am. What was it? Wait. Oh yeah, don't get that keen till uh, I can go outside. I was a zombie. What are you doing, zombie? My back hurts. I'm sitting in a very uncomfortable position just so I can get to this microphone. So you fuckers better appreciate what I'm doing for you. I'm humiliating myself for your amusement. I'll go put the shotgun shells away.